Joining us here, Ivanhoe Cambridge CEO Natalie Padalichev is with us. It's great to have you. Welcome back. Thank you. What, what do you see? Opportunity here? Um, first, I'm, I'm very happy to, to break the news of the opening of the office in New York here on CNBC. I think it's a, it's a big news and it's us being realistic about what's happening on the market. If you look around, of course, there are not just only bad news. And good news, obviously, it's not, I would say, uh, as binary as it is, but nevertheless, we have a lot of uh, issues, challenges, and we have to be close to the assets, and that's why we're here. Do the bargains exist today, or are you trying to get in place for when they do appear? Um, I think we have to be ready the day interest rates stabilize, even if it's at highest level, uh, because what we don't like in investment usually is uncertainty, and those days it's a lot about that. But I think that at the end of the day, the long-term uh, trends would prevail. Does that stabilization seem like it's close? Um, it's not me, it's not for me to say, and I know that Jeff Powell is talking a little bit later, so that's very tough for me to talk just before him, but that's not my job, in fact. I'm not here to bet on interest rates. I'm just here to invest smartly, to make the right choices, and to prepare the future of real estate. How bad is office right now? Um, office is, um, was bad already, I would say, at the beginning of the pandemic. Of course, the acceleration I, has made what the situation is today. So it's not just, on, uh, in fact, about bad assets. It's also about bad liabilities. So you, when you have bad on both sides, that it's where the problem starts. But if you have liabilities that you are not forced to reimburse, for, for example, or if you have good partners, then you can be patient. Would you invest? Would you be buying office buildings right now? Uh, and it's, uh, it, it gets to what I said about bad assets, because there are bad assets. You know, we, were, we have been talking about that for a long time. And I think we were probably among the, 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 the first investors to say there's a secular change at stake. It's not just a simple cycle. It's something deeper than that. And it's what we are experiencing right now. How, how high? I, I wonder if you think vacancies have hit a high. There's been a lot of reporting about employer efforts to get people back in office, and some argue it is paying off. Others argue there is this, this ceiling that they're, they're bumping their heads against. Where are we on that? Um, th there is a survey which was just released by KPMG about the, the feeling, the sentiment of CEOs. Last year, they said, 32% of them said that within three years, everybody would be back to the office. And now it's 67. So it doubled within a year. So you see, it's not, it's not, we have not landed, I think, where we're going to be. But, you know, if I can be disruptive, I think we should just stop counting the number of days we're back to the office. We just, 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 uh, like realizing that it's about productivity, it's about sustainability, it's about responsibility as leaders. What about commercial general, commercial real estate in general? You know, everybody's been sort of, the, the, we've seen in the bank quarters that the provisions for bad loans have gone up around commercial real estate. Everyone's waiting for this shoe to drop. And whether, and we don't know whether it will have sort of systemic risk to the economy. What's your take? Um, we, we have heard this morning some uh, regional banks talking about their situations, and we see that they are tackling with that in a great responsibility, I think, but we don't see major catastrophe coming from there. And I think it's where the systematic uh, risk, the systemic, systemic risk that you are talking about could, from, could come from. So if it doesn't happen, then again, we have to be patient. We don't like what's happening uh, currently at all. But again, we, uh, we did real estate in the 90s when interest rates were very high and it was possible to make profit. So I think we're going to get back to that. But that's true that for the time being, uh, the, the capital market especially is not really able to make a difference between what's good and what's bad and what we can finance and what you can't. But again, I really think that the long term uh, um, Bets, and that's why real estate is a long-term investment. Uh, we'd, we'd really show uh, what what it's about.